Hey guys, Jack Kentis here, again with another Crock-Pot Guide video, this time with foods in the dinner category, in my opinion. So, as always guys, I have my assistant chef Winona here to help me out, show you guys how to cook these meals. And again, as always, don't worry about the ingredients, I'll show you how to find these after this series is done. So don't worry about all these weird and exotic ingredients, I'll show you exactly where to find them after this series is complete. Let's jump right into the first recipe. And turkey dinner is our first recipe. This is a, you know, favorite of a certain cryptic fox of mine. Seems to love making this dinner. It is 20 health, 75 hunger, 5 sanity, 60 seconds in a crock pot, takes 6 days to rot. This is a really easy one if you guys got any pesky gobblers around your base trying to get a berry. Just take a berry, 2 drumsticks, and another meat product. I usually throw a mushroom in there or something. I get rid of monster meat this way. It's a really good way to fill up your hunger and heal a little bit if you guys are a little struggling in that area. And our next recipe here is ratatouille. Now, this is a weird one. It requires vegetable and a lot of filler. 3 health, 25 hunger, 5 sanity, 20 seconds of crock pot, 15 days of rot. This one's kind of a mediocre recipe in my opinion just to get rid of vegetables. There's a lot of different um, you know, applications for vegetables in your crock pot. But I mean if you're in a pinch all you have is mushrooms and some fillers, some berries, you can make some ratatouille for a little bit. You know, I'd still think um, Fistful of Jam is a little bit better than this recipe, but that's what it is. Now here's a recipe I'm pretty sure you guys have created in the crock pot once or twice. Monster lasagna. Negative 20 health, negative 20 sanity, 37.5 hunger, and 10 seconds of the crock pot, 10 days to rot. Now this is a really weird one where only Weber can really benefit from this if you throw a ton of monster meat. More than two monster meat is the rule here, guys. Monster meat includes monster meat, of course, jerky, cooked, durian, and jellyfish you're playing chick red. It's a bit of an odd recipe to the point that it has no use besides you know make it a pet but other than if you're Weber in a pinch all you got is monster meat you can make this in the crock pot for a little bit extra I'd rather just eat the monster meat raw to be honest it's a very strange recipe in the game but there you go guys ah and here to the meaty stew the good old fill up for them Wolfgangs for the WX's all those guys with the big bellies even Warley and Shipwreck it's actually a really good uh, recipe to keep them on because you can live off of it 12 health 150 hunger 5 sanity 15 seconds of the crock pot 10 days to rot this one rule of thumb guys just throw it ton of meat in your crock pot and some filler if you want i usually throw monster meat in there one monster meat two large meat and maybe a morsel or maybe you know even a filler like barrier ice it should get the job done it's really good helping those big bellies trying to get rid of it so you're not stuck making meatballs and wasting any food here's a bit of a red herring in the game guys mandrake soup i highly advise against this recipe guys but it's a good med pack if you're in a pinch it's 100 health 150 hunger 5 sanity, 60 seconds in a crock pot, 6 days to rot. This, rule of thumb guys, you put a, you know, you put a mandrake in there and 3 filler and you're going to get mandrake soup. I would rather much save their mandrakes for a, you know, a pan flute so you can help, you know, with bosses and other pain in the butt things that you need to, you know, help you with that. I would highly advise making this recipe guys. It's, it's just there for some flavor, I guess. I, don't make it. Just don't make it. Here's a favorite of mine when you guys have beehives going and you have a lot of monster meat lying around and some morsels and stuff like that. Honey ham. I love this one. 30 health, 75 hunger, 5 sanity, 40 seconds in a crock pot, 15 days to rot. This is a great one, especially if you have a lot of bees around, if you're clearing the beehives or, you know, uh, on your map and you have a lot of spider meat and you happen to kill a pig or something like that. It's really nice fill up and a decent amount of health too. Here's another weird one if you guys are into farming and you guys happen to get an eggplant. Stuffed eggplant. 3 health. 37.5 hunger, 5 sanity, 40 seconds in a crock pot, 15 days to rot. Other than that, requiring to have an eggplant in there cooked or raw, you just put some filler in there, vegetables, berries, twigs, ice, lichen, whatever you have lying around your base, you'll probably make a stuffed eggplant. It's nothing too special. The man, the myth, the legend, the meatballs. Everybody knows these little guys. 3 health, 62.5 hunger, 5 sanity, 15 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. Everybody and their mom has made meatballs in a crock pot, and any base solo game, you might have accidentally made them. All you need is one meat, three filler if you're choosing. Great way to get rid of monster meat in my opinion. Stock up on ice in the winter guys, you can have plenty of things to keep your belly full, but it won't heal you for a lot and won't give you a lot of sanity. Other than that guys, that's my two cents on meatballs. Now into the more exotic for shipwrecked, caviar. Three health, 12.5 hunger, 33 whopping sanity, 40 seconds in the crock pot. 10 days to rot. Roll thumb guys, you need row. You need fish row, so you need to go out in the ocean and find some from some of the birds or find it in the trawling net. And three seaweed. Easiest recipe you could ever make in the crock pot. Easy sanity and shipwreck, especially if you're losing it because you guys are getting wet or if you guys can't find any other sources of sanity. It's amazing. 
Ah, uh, the wop the lobster bisque. I almost said lobster. 60 health, 25 hunger, 10 sanity, 10 seconds in the crock pot, 10 days to rot. So you guys bag yourself a lobster, don't kill the little bad boy, put him alive in the crock pot with one ice, two filler. You can get rid of monster meat that way, and you know, you're stocking up from the snakes. It is a great, great health item, but it only rots in 10 days, so be careful. Speaking of lobsters, lobster dinner. 60 health, 37.5 hunger, 50 mega sanity. 20 seconds of crock pot, 15 days to rot. This one's great, you need that live lobster, you need to go smacking them butterflies and get butter, and then you can add two filler if you're choosing to get rid of anything you don't want in your base. Amazing, amazing meal. It's one of those late game meals like waffles. It's fantastic if you actually find all the ingredients. Now here's an interesting one if you're playing Warly. Monster Tartare it has to be made in his unique crock pot. Three health, 37.5 hunger, 10 sanity, 20 seconds of the crock pot, and 10 days to rot. Yes, you can make monster lasagna recipes with one egg, one vegetable, and two monster meat if you choose. Get rid of monster meat and gain sanity at the same time because Warly is magnificent and he can make tartar out of anything. Nice marbling on the meat, by the way. I uh, yet another gift from the ocean. Surf and Turf. I love this one. 60 health, 37.5 hunger, 33 sanity, 10 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. This one's awesome. All he needs, half fish, half meat. It can be two monster meat, two fish, a lipid, a filler, normal fish, tropical fish, whatever you need. This one's awesome because it is massive on sanity. It's like a half lobster dinner. It's great to make, easy to make. You'll find all the ingredients within the first couple of days. Uh, another gift from Shipwreck, this awesome little health and sanity pack. Seafood Gumbo. 40 health, 37.5 hunger, 20 sanity, 20 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. This one's awesome. All you need is a bunch of fish, a bunch of random fish. You can put your mussels in there, you can put jellyfish, you can put, you know, what have you around the base. You have a bunch of fish lying around, make some seafood gumbo. It's an awesome, awesome little health pack, and it gives you a bunch of sanity. Very relatively easy to make, if you're playing shipwreck. And ladies and gentlemen, the most pain in the ass recipe I've made in Don't Starve Ever, Tropical Bolognese. 20 health, 37.5 hunger, 15 sanity, 40 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. And it increases your movement speed for 30 seconds. So, it's like a free walking cane. The most pain in the ass recipe is simply the fact that you have to get three unique fish from three unique eggs and three unique fish farms. Yes, this is a late game recipe, ladies and gentlemen. It was so hard to make this video, you have no idea with that. They do not spawn in console commands. I warn you now, this is super late game recipe, so don't rely on this one. But it is an awesome part of food. Oh, the cruelness of Clay's crude humor knows no bounds. Shark fin soup. Really good one. 40 health, 12.5 hunger, negative 10 sanity, 10 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot, and a funny perk that you get 10 naughtiness every time you eat this, because you know, shark fin soup is bad. So, all you need is a shark fin and three filler. You can put three monster meat, you can put twig ice, you can put what have you in, in, you know, in the soup. It's just more of a funny joke than anything. Other than that, guys. That's the end of this video, and if you guys are still watching, thank you so much, and if you guys want to see more content from me, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be making more guides like this and show you where to get all these ingredients. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Bye!